Nusa Biosphere Reserve is an internationally protected area covering the region of Nusa in Queensland, Australia. It is formally recognised as a biosphere reserve by the United Nations Education, Scientific and Cultural Organisation and MAN and the Biosphere program for its highly diverse ecosystem over a relatively small space. It was the first biosphere reserve for the state of Queensland, established in September 2007. The reserve is bound by the Noosa Shire Council boundaries, extending offshore by 3 kilometres covering 150,000 hectares acres in total. It is governed by Nusa Biosphere Limited (NBL), a not-for-profit company which mainly consists of members from the local community who fulfill roles in the governance board, sector boards, and partnerships. Community plays a significant role in the implementation of the Biosphere Reserve guidelines. Topic: Ecology Noosa Biosphere Reserve is located in the McPherson Maclay overlap, where tropical and temperate zones overlap. The landscape has an extensive composition of rainforests, beaches, woodlands, wetlands, lakes, rivers, forests, and mountains. The Noosa region provides an extremely accommodating landscape for both flora and fauna due to its location in the intersection of the Taurisian and Bassian biogeographic regions. It is a major centre of species richness and endemism, supporting speciation and biodiversity. The reserve includes the following national parks Noosa National Park, Noosa River National Park, Great Sandy National Park, and Mount Pinbarren National Park. Three state forests exist Ringtail, Ural, and Tulara. Four forest reserves exist in this area, including Tawantan Forest Reserve, Woondam Forest Reserve, Noosa Forest Reserve, Tuchikoi Forest Reserve. Nine conservation parks are part of the Noosa Biosphere Reserve, and focus on the following areas, Mount Koroi, Tuchikoi, Harry and Gladys Spring, Kuluthan, Sheep Island, Kaiser Island, Weba Creek, Goat Island, and Six Mile Creek. The following eight nature refuges are included in the Protection Plan – Arthur Harold, Bill Huxley, Pender Scrub, Burrowingi, Hilltop, Una and Harold Corbold, Girawine, and Schreiber's Road, Corin. In addition to this, Kalula Noosa River Resource Reserve and Great Sandy Resource Reserve are also included in the region. Topic: Flora. Vegetation types include rainforest, ecotonal forests, eucalypt forests, Melaleuca communities, heathlands and sedgelands, mangroves and saline communities, frontal dune and foreshore communities, exposed high dune sand systems, freshwater and marine ecosystems. Significant species in the area include Acronychia littorali, Sheoak, Alocasiorina rigida, Keys boronea, Boronea kisi, Swamp string bark, Eucalyptus conglomerata, Macartheria complanata, Pineapple zamia, Macrozamia pauli julielmi, Swamp orchids, Phius australis, Tancarvillei, Glossy spice bush, Triunia robusta, and Southern penda, Xanthostamon oppositifolius. The genus Alocasiorina provides the predominant food source for the vulnerable glossy black cockatoo with Alocasiorina rigida and Alocasiorina littoralis being the most commonly consumed. The Koala Habitat Atlas study performed on the former Noosa Shire in 1996–1997 and 2001–2002 confirmed that the genus Eucalyptus is a primary factor in habitat selection for koalas 
The glossy spice bush robusta is currently endangered, and the majority of its population is restricted to Maruchi River area. Fauna Amphibians <inaudible> 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 Located in the Nusa Biosphere Reserve are the giant barred frog and cascade tree frog They are both currently listed as threatened species in the Nature Conservation Act 1992. Residing in the same reserve are the wallum froglet Crinia tinula, green-thighed frog Littoria brevipalmata, Kalula sedge frog Littoria cululensis, wallum rocket frog Littoria fryasinetti, and wallum sedge frog Littoria olongbarensis. These particular species have experienced declining populations in Australia, and are unfortunately part of the global amphibian decline. Topic: Reptiles. Threatened species in the area include the flatback turtle, Natator depressus, loggerhead turtle, Caretta caretta, collared delma, Delma torquata, and the three-toed snake tooth skink, Coronachinchus reticulatus. Reptiles, along with amphibians, provide the reserve with indications of the ongoing and future state of the environmental quality. <inaudible> Birds The Noosa Biosphere Reserve is a vital element of the BirdLife International Designated Endemic Bird Area Eastern Australia Zone. The reserve houses over 300 bird species, with a dynamic and diverse population encompassing 44% of documented Australian resident bird species population, as well as migratory bird species. Significant species in the area include the square-tailed kite, Lophoactinia isura, red goshawk, Erythrotriorchis radiates, black-breasted button quail, Turnix melanogaster, glossy black cockatoo, Calyptoinchus lithami arabis, coxswain's fig parrot, Cyclopsida diaphthalma coxeni, swift parrot, Lathamus discolor, eastern ground parrot, Pezoporus wallacus wallacus, and the regent bowerbird, Auriculus chrysocephalus. The woodlands in the Noosa Biosphere Reserve provide an ideal habitat for many of the bird species mentioned. The glossy black cockatoo is especially reliant on large woodland tree hollows for breeding. This particular species is currently listed as vulnerable in Queensland, as is the black-breasted button quail Turnix melanogaster, and the eastern ground parrot Pezoporus wallacus wallacus. Species with significantly small populations and recognized as endangered by Queensland government are the red goshawk, Erythrotriorchis radiates, coxswain's fig parrot, Cyclopsida diaphthalma coxeni, and the swift parrot, Lathamus discolor. The swift parrot, Lathamus discolor, is a nationally endangered migratory bird which breeds only in Tasmania but migrates to mainland Australia for wintering. Its habitat requirements are similar to the glossy black cockatoo in that it requires shelter in a woodland tree hollow, albeit a smaller size. The habitat requirements of the black-breasted button quail Turnix melanogaster, and the eastern ground parrot Pezoporus wallacus wallacus are somewhat different in that they forage and live in the rainforest vine thickets and heathland floors respectively. Mammals 
Notable species in the reserve include the koala, Phascolarctos cenarius, tiger quoll, Dasiurus maculatus, greater long-eared bat, Nyctophilus timoriensis, false water rat, Xeromys myoides, humpback whale, Megaptera noviangli, and the dugong, Dugong dugan. Both the koala Phascolarctos cenarius and humpback whale Megaptera noviangli are flagship species in Australia, receiving a great deal of conservation attention from the public. In comparison, species like the greater long-eared bat Nyctophilus timoriensis and the false water rat Xeromys myoides are unknown to most of the public, but are nationally vulnerable species, with current studies indicating both require the same level of conservation attention to prevent further decline in abundance and distribution. Even megafauna species dugong, dugong dugan numbers are also in steady decline, with extinction forecast for this vulnerable species within this century. <laughs> Fish The Dunker's pipehorse, Selenithus dunkeri, Mary River cod, Macullochella pili mariensis, and Oxlian pygmy perch, Nanoperca oxliana, are fish species located in the Noosa Biosphere Reserve. Unfortunately, the Mary River cod, Macullochella pili mariensis, was ignored until the 1980s, and only in 1993 did it receive a formal classification. This has resulted in a dramatic decline in both abundance and genetic diversity for this particular species. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Invertebrates. Species present in the area include the yabby, Cherix punctatus, swamp crayfish, Tenuibranchiurus glypticus, Richmond birdwing butterfly, Ornithoptera richmondia, and the Australian fritillary, Argirius hyorbius inconstans. Both of these butterfly species are threatened, with Queensland conservation statuses listing them as vulnerable and endangered respectively. Topic: Environmental threats and issues. One major current threat is the proposed large commercial jet flight path for the new Sunshine Coast Airport runway. The proposed flight paths show that low-altitude passenger jets are to fly within the Noosa Biosphere area as well as key surrounding areas. Such a development could destroy natural ecosystems and lead to loss of status. Previous and current threats to both flora and fauna in the Noosa region include clearing, urban development, logging, agriculture, littering, tourism, fires including both naturally occurring and scheduled fire regimes, invasive weeds, flooding, sea level rise, pollution, fragmentation, invasive species, boat wake erosion, drainage, and recreational vehicle use. Climate change also threatens the Noosa Biosphere Reserve, with more severe tropical cyclones predicted and further flooding due to rising sea levels anticipated, resulting in dune erosion, shoreline recession, and significant damage to the ecosystem. Amphibians in the area are under threat from the Chytridiomycosis fungal disease, which has been confirmed as a factor in the decline of the cascade tree frog Littoria pearsoniana population in southeast Queensland. Additionally, the giant barred frog has suffered at the hands of the public due to being mistaken for the cane toad Bufo marinus, indirectly contributing to its decline. The cane toad Bufo marinus has also had a direct effect on ground nesting bird species in the area, including them and their eggs as part of their diet. Weed invasion is significantly threatening the area, either suffocating native flora, or colonizing areas after fires have cleared land. 
Lantana, Lantana camara is an Australian weed of national significance once and significantly threatens over 250 native plant species and 24 native animal species. Reptiles with ground-dwelling habits, particularly skinks and amphibians, including the cascade tree frog Littoria pearsoniana, are included as species that are also threatened by Lantana, Lantana camara. Other invasive weeds present in the Noosa Biosphere Reserve are Dutchman's Pipe elegans and Camphor Laurel camphora. Dutchman's Pipe elegans, an introduced vine, is used by the Richmond birdwing butterfly Ornithoptera richmondia to lay its eggs, unaware that this particular vine is toxic to its larvae. Camphor laurel camphora is a toxic introduced tree that threatens native birds in the Noosa region, particularly parrots, due to its toxic seeds and flowers, which are contributing to death or sterility in these species. Previous logging of rainforest and woodland in the Noosa region has led to habitat loss and fragmentation for many bird species, particularly for the black breasted button quail. Turnix melanogaster Coxon's fig parrot, Cyclopsida diaphthalma coxeni, glossy black cockatoo, Calyptoincus lithami arabis, and the swift parrot, Lathamus discolor. Previous clearing of eucalypt forests has also affected the primary food source and habitat of the koala, Phascolarctos cenarius, wetlands of national importance in the Noosa region, such as Lake Weba and Noosa River wetlands, are threatened by sea level rise, further flooding, and climate change. This directly affects and threatens the habitat of the false water rat, Xeromys myoides. Fish species, such as the Oxlian pygmy perch Oxliana, have had their abundance reduced in Noosa due to man-made stream contaminants, lack of stream flow, and introduced species. Marine animals that frequent the Noosa Biosphere Reserve, such as the dugong, dugong dugan, flatback turtle and the loggerhead turtle Caretta Caretta are threatened by the decline in seagrasses, their primary food source. In addition to this threat, the loggerhead turtle Caretta Caretta's eggs and hatchlings are at high risk of predation. Topic. Management The designation of Noosa as a biosphere reserve offers managers and stakeholders with a learning environment where they can research and investigate different conservation approaches to deliver the best outcomes for the area. Essentially, the Biosphere Reserve is a «learning laboratory» that encourages sustainable development of the designated area. The Noosa Biosphere Reserve Management Plan 2009 and the Noosa Biosphere Reserve website provide guidance to deliver sustainable conservation to the protected area and the species contained within. Conservation for the Biosphere Reserve is mostly aimed at protecting and preserving the different land cover types present in the area. This results in flora protection which directly benefits the fauna within. Specifically, the main projects coordinated for conservation of the area include, designated conservation areas, weed management programs, promotion of fire protection, regeneration and revegetation, specific planning controls, visitor management, captive breeding programs, control programs for beach erosion prevention, use management, transfer of transition land into buffer zone and buffer land into core zone, and education and awareness. In addition to this, specific recovery plans and conservation guidelines mandated by the either state or federal government are enforced via Noosa Biosphere Limited for the Noosa Biosphere Reserve. This includes plans such as the National Recovery Plan for the Black-Breasted Button Quail Turnix melanogaster and Commonwealth Conservation Advice on Triunia robusta. 
Designation of Fish Habitat Areas FHA in Queensland, such as the Noosa River and Maruchi Pumicestone Channel, are aimed at conserving fish diversity by restricting or eliminating disturbance to these areas. In 2012, the Noosa River ranked in the top five FHAs of the state, demonstrating the effectiveness of the Noosa Biosphere Reserve. Other conservation efforts in the area include koala tracking to identify conditions and locations, as well as research involving surveys on koala fecal pellets in Noosa Shire to contribute to the effective restoration of their habitat. Riparian weed control along a degraded section of Corora Creek, Pomona, is a current project in the Biosphere Reserve that will improve the habitat of the giant barred frog .Climate change has been actively discussed and progressed on the agenda since 2009 for the Noosa Biosphere Reserve. Active steps have been taken by Noosa Biosphere Limited to address climate change, including continually educating and engaging the community about climate change and its potential effect on the area, gathering community feedback on the issue, promoting government initiatives such as the Queensland Premier's Climate Smart Sustainability Awards and Earth Hour, engaging climate change experts for advice and guidance, supporting carbon pollution legislation, and a draft Noosa Climate Action Plan created in 2011. In addition to the above, Noosa Biosphere Limited has also compiled and updated lists of both fauna and flora present in the area, noting issues such as state significance, commonwealth significance, scientific names, conservation status, and regionally specific comments. A key project for the reserve, starting from the 2012–2013 financial year, is the production of the State of the Biosphere Report to measure its progress. Research is supported by the Noosa Biosphere Reserve, with a research center proposed for the area. Lastly, Noosa Biosphere Limited is an active advocate of upgrading conservation statuses of protected zones. This will provide further stability for all species in the area, along with all of the other measures currently endorsed by the Noosa Biosphere Reserve. See also List of biosphere reserves in Australia <laughs>